Hello, my name is Joan Beckett Armstrong, and I am discerning a call to the diaconate. Well, we are in the third week of Advent, and we are just seven days away from celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Joy, joy, joy. All this week, I've been thinking about the word joy, its meaning, and how one would experience lasting joy. Does joy mean having a boatload of presents under a Christmas tree or taking a much deserved break during the holiday season? Or could it mean getting that much desired sports car with a bow on top in your driveway? I would say having those items would make one happy temporarily but they would not create lasting joy. Mary, the mother of Jesus, on the other hand, knew about joy and what creates lasting joy. During my quiet time this week, I was led by the Spirit to read Luke chapter 1, verses 46 through 55, which is known as the Song of Mary or the Magnificat. Although I have read these verses many times before and even had the opportunity to see a wonderful performance of Bach's Magnificat at Carnegie Hall in New York City, I was truly blown away by what I was reading. Mary, after being told by the angel Gabriel that she was going to conceive the Son of God rushes to tell her cousin, Elizabeth, who is also pregnant, the great news. Mary exclaims, my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my savior. Wow, can you just feel her excitement? And can you feel the deep adoration she has for God? Amazing. And Mary goes on to say, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. After the visit from the angel, Mary handled the life-changing news with such grace and humility. Throughout the song of Mary, Mary's love and devotion for God is solid. Her faith in him unshakable. It is so amazing. No wonder she has been revered for many centuries. Point blank. Mary knew God. She knew him as almighty, forgiving, protecting, redeeming, loving, just, merciful, but how did she get to know God the way she did and know him well? Well, I think it would be good to say that she probably spent time with God through prayer and meditation, by reading the writings of the Old Testament prophets and studying the law of Moses. When you really take time to think about it, Mary, the mother of Jesus, was no different than any one of us. She was an ordinary person, but God used her to do extraordinary things because of her adoration, devotion, and genuine love for him. And you know, God wants to have that kind of relationship with each one of us. He wants us to spend time with him, pray, meditate, read his word regularly, and just spend quality time nurturing a relationship with him. He wants us to experience the same kind of lasting joy that Mary experienced and was not afraid to tell the world about it. Will you consider spending quality time with God and nurturing, nurturing a lasting relationship with him? 
Although this Advent season is rapidly coming to a close, I invite you to take a new look at the Magnificat and read it with the eyes of your heart. And I am sure you too will be filled with joy, 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 just as Mary was for her God and Savior. Thank you for listening. And I pray that you and your loved ones have a blessed Christmas. Amen.